Last time we had the phobia in here, we painted the cab. And I think it's time we painted the back. But as you can probably see, we've got quite a lot to prep. Now before the Foden came to me, it had actually been used commercially as a proper recovery truck in Scotland and unfortunately that Scottish salt has got all over the tin work and started everything corroding. So let's get this thing sorted out. So I'm going to go and get the aqua blaster fired up. But before we could do that, we've got to unload all the heavy recovery gear out of all the locker boxes before we start sandblasting. <laughs> Good work. Yeah. What's happened? Well, things were going very well. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, things were going not so well. Not so well yeah. Lots of lot of pressure. And, uh, yeah, all of a sudden, and there was a bit of a bang. And the fast track revved up, which was strange because it struggles with the uh, vary mount on the back. And uh, <laughs> the, the vary mount wasn't making any pressure. And I thought, well, it's a brand new machine, so it's unlikely that's gone wrong. And then we could see something smoking from underneath the tractor. And if you look just down there, just down there, that's quite a big thing to fall off. Yeah, now. Uh, hang on, I'm, I'm getting in there, like there. Right. You can see it's had quite the nasty. It's done a filter housing just delete in there. Here. Yeah, it's it's not that off. Look that bit. But to be fair, we've been bloody ain't looking. too awful. Did it actually took anything else off. under here? I wonder if this is hot enough to fit. Oh, here's a molten piece of metal ball. Yeah, doesn't surprise it's me. Still very hot. Yeah. Right. So Ow. if you look Ow. there, people, that this is, is a is a fuck. That's what that is. That's melted off, look. There we go. Look. Oh, you fighter. Here, take this phone while I get down. Yeah, it's film you getting down. Oh, mate. Oof. Min. Yeah, that ain't good. Four. I think that's uh, it's welded in fusion there. welded. So, remember, people, never grease anything. Yeah. That's Why the... bother with grease when you can just replace stuff? Always remember to never grease anything. Oh, I better go down there and take that prop off. I actually think it's that damage. Yeah. <sighs> I'll film this bit because there's a good chance it'll land on his face. And oh, it's a fair chance. That'll be uh, funny. I don't want anybody to miss that. Yeah. I bet this hasn't ever been off. It's never, it's never ever been greased, so probably not. Because, I mean, yeah. if, if you took it off and changed it, you'd grease it when you took it off and changed it. What you? happens with fast tracks is quite common that the front prop shaft, that happens on the front prop shaft, and then it falls off at the front and then pole vaults the whole tractor. The tractor yeah, yeah. Which usually goes up through the cab, killing the driver. There's a few cases where that's happened. So I'm I mean, pretty glad it's this and not. Uh, well, the only good thing is you weren't in it at the time, so it wouldn't have mattered. No, we won't go flat out. No. Right, here we go. Is it going to fall off? Face. Please do. Ooh. Oh, look at him go. You see? Doesn't just mend tanks. I can, can fuck tractors up as well. Oh, I can't swear. He can mess tractors up as well. Oh, oh, all I want to try and do is not let the caps fall off that side. Yeah, we'll try and knock it onto everything. Hang on. So we had to call in reinforcements. Stop for a cup of tea because you know I've done five minutes now. Look how brand new everything goes. It's blooming lovely.
Now, I hate sandblasting wheels or aqua blasting, but when you think that this probably only took me a few seconds, whereas if we'd a needle gun dip, it would have been a few hours each wheel. Um, so there's little no comparison. All it is is a little bit noisy and a little bit splashy. So really, and it does actually a far better job. Sandblasted myself a bit and the lorry, aqua blasted. But now I've got to give it a good wash down. We actually did run out of, uh, of sand, which is a shame, so I wanted to do that back end, but looks like Jack's got a bit of needle going to do the left end. But we're going to do the difficult bits and all the teamwork, which has come up really good. So I'm going to give it a wash, a thorough wash, and then we'll get it in the shed. And then look at all these bits of rusty nastiness that we've got to do something with. Having a whale of a time. Look at him go, what a bloke. Right, well, we've got it in the workshop now, all jacked up, so we can take the wheels off and uh, get round into the chassis to give everything a damn good painting. Bit of flash rust in places, but nothing to worry about. This locker box has got holes all the way through it, so that's going to need reflooring. Um, and the front tyres are looking a little bit tired, so I might treat her to a set of new tyres on the front, on the steering axle. But we're going to turn the heaters on in the workshop, get it baking and get it all dried out. We'll be doing a video on the T34 soon, so just hold out, you know, things take time. But that's the Foden. Let me know how you think we should paint the back, um, and how we should color it. Also, and if you like me, and like recovery trucks, a friend of mine is selling this lovely Leyland Martian. It's in a real nice condition, actually. They're usually really bad on the cabs on these, and this one is in terrific condition for its age. All nice and uh, nice and shiny. This one's been under the seat, but um, yeah, real nice bit of kit this is. I had one before we had a, a Foden, and, and actually it did a bloody good job. It just wasn't quite heavy enough for moving some of the tanks around, although it would do it. Again, the crane's a rotator, very useful, and the winch is actually also very, very powerful on it. Good vehicle. Um, yeah, so if you, if you are looking for something, a military vehicle, this is historic, so it can be driven on a car license. And I think it's MOT exempt. There's this one. Um, very nice in the cab. B series dashboard. There we go. Look at that. Yep. So if anyone's interested, send me a message or whatever. Um, I think they're looking for about 12 grand for this one. So let me know. We might be able to find you a nice vehicle. Thank you all for watching. See you again soon.